So we'll show you the uh, bodywork that we've done so far and some of the other stuff. So this is the, the piece that he's uh, forming for our for our shrouds. It's going to have to be modified. It's just in its first stages here. Once we get the pipes on, we're going to have to kind of form it in around the pipes. Uh, so that we'll show you after we're done here. We've got that off here, and we we can see. We can see the rad is here, our holding tank is up here, and uh, when we take the seat back you can see that we come in from the holding tank, it goes into this equalizer tube, goes into both sides of the frame, where we're going to put a vent up here, uh, our uh, access uh, plug up here on both sides. So this is going to come down through the frame into this location here and it's going to fill right to the bottom. We're going to put a, a cross tube here and that's where we're going to take feed the uh, water pump from, from a tube in here. And the, the hose will go underneath into the water pump area in the front of the engine. We've got our box pretty much uh, you know, designed and ready to go. Uh, we've got some final touches to do yet. but. We're fitting it right now. This is our shifter mechanism. All we need is the uh, lever mechanism in the back shaft here, and it's going to run off a cable underneath the engine. It's going to come back up to uh, the uh, front end area there where you'll have a lever with an over cam scenario on it to pull it in gear and lock it in gear. So that's, that's coming along real well. And now this fuel tank that he's working on here, it's going to fit right in the back here, in, in around this shock area here. We've got enough room, so we decided we're going to put it right there with our fuel pump accessed in the top here and the fuel spout underneath the seat for filling. So it's a fair sized tank and it gives us enough clearance for, for the wheel and all that. We'll put an extra shroud for protection up on the back here so we don't get, you know, get a leak from uh, stones or whatever hitting the back side there. We'll get a little bit of warning if something happens where it's getting beat up. We're getting quite excited to get this thing running and hope to get it running this, uh, this spring. We've got to redo the swing arm. We're going to bring in some more extensions there. So this is our uh, fuel pump that we're going to uh, use. So it's quite large, it'll fit in that tank. But we have to make an adapter so we can make a bung for to fit in the tank. We're going to start off with this piece of aluminum. We'll probably use about two inches of, of this uh, aluminum rod that we have here. So that's what we'll be working on today. We'll maybe show you a little bit of process on that at different stages of development. Okay, well we just finished making the uh, filler, or not the filler cap, but the adapter plate for putting our fuel pump in our fuel tank. On the other side, we've got to hook up our, our engine. And so this is our actually flywheel weight. We're going to attach our sprocket on here. We've got another bearing carrier coming out here for an input shaft, which will turn this this way. Pardon me, it'll turn that way. This will be turning backwards. So that's our drive direction. So this is the next project that we're going to attack. Working on the swing arm right now. Gas tank is built. Got our chain drive sprockets ready to go. We're just got some on order. Pipes mounts are tacked on. Went along, starting to look good. We look like we might even get this thing running in a couple of months.